everything was going so well. You know, I let go of the fact that the beginning section should have been at the end of the second film and that Smaug is such this pretty dragon, he was underused. I let all of that go. I was like, that's fine. I loved Martin Freeman. I think he's a perfect Bilbo. He's adorable. He's a wonderful actor and he just gets all of Ian Holmes' characteristics just down to a T. And I loved Richard Armitage. I thought he just played moody and needy. He was fantastic. So the film was going very well. I thought, this is wonderfully shot. You know, I'm quite entertained. Until one moment. And you can't miss it. You really can't miss this moment. It had me in stitches. Look out for it. I'll give you a little bit of a clue. Dun dun dun! There are too many eyebrow raising moments in this film which just left me giggling in my seat. And I will fill you in on those. So the number one eyebrow raise moment had to be Legolas defying gravity. The many faces of Lee Pace. I could make a calendar with those expressions, but the CGI Billy Connolly led me to anger. I couldn't laugh at this. I was angry. The most exciting thing about this movie is it has Billy Connolly in, and then he is just one ball of CGI. It looks horrendous. He looks like he should be in Polar Express or the Lord of the Rings game for PS3. There was just too much CGI in this film. You know, I really miss just makeup. Good old fashioned makeup. You know, they're definitely not gonna win any costume and wig awards, let's just say that, because it's all CGI. And it just gets tiresome. And you know for a fact that it's not going to age well. And I just missed real human beings and real hair and real clothes. It just really let the film down. And I know the title is Battle of the Five Armies, but there was just too much battle in this film. There was just way too much. I felt like there was just too much unexplained in this film because they needed to just do the whole film as a battle. So they just skimmed over everything, but everything that they were skimming over also felt like really unnecessary scenes. So my head was just like, what is going on? I'm, I was getting quite confused. I was trying to like sum up my confusion and I just kept thinking, this film, well this trilogy, could have been condensed into two films. It just felt a little bit indulgent and unnecessary. So in the end, I left feeling rather disappointed with this end of a trilogy.